What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred back again with another Nintendo Switch Pokemon discussion video. Now, as you can see on screen, we have another quote unquote, take it with a grain of salt and then add that salt to whatever do you want to eat and digest for today because we have a brand new starter Pokemon for Gen 8, which a lot of people think these are real and, you know, saying they look absolutely real. They could be real for a whole bunch of reasons. They could be fake for a whole bunch of reasons as well. But everyone right now, as of recording this, is in February 21st, 2018. No one knows. The artist behind these images hasn't yet you know, revealed himself or herself to confirm or deny these images are real or fake. And that's kind of worrying a lot of people because usually once these images come around, it usually takes less than 24 hours for the artist to come out and say, hey, these are mine. I see that it's getting a lot of news, a lot of mentions on Twitter. I want people to know that these are mine so I can get you know, how many, you know, followers or the buzz around, you know, big news outlets talking about it. They want that recognition. But no one, as of the recording of this video, has come out and said, hey, these are mine. These are fake. I just made it and I wanted, you know, the recognition of being the person who made these or whatever the case, whatever the joy people get out of creating Pokemon fakes. Now, it's kind of weird because then we're falling into the line of, well, we're going to just believe anything that we see on the internet. A lot of people are axing, you know, uh, around and be like, okay, can someone prove that they're fake then? Can someone, if no one's going to raise their hand in the class, can someone tell me why these are fake? And a lot of people were, was, you know, pointing to the fact that there's the Japanese on it. Let's translate the Japanese. People have translated Japanese. It turns out that everything that is written in Japanese is spot on. It's actually words that are, you know, common enough that if a person was making a fake, they could have researched it and found. But then on the other note, there's, you know, English writing with them as well. And everyone's like, yeah, that it kind of falls into the line of depending on the artist who's making them. Maybe they did doodled English, you know, words on it as well. Because we've seen that again in the past. Just because it has English written on it doesn't mean that it's fake. We've seen that, I think, with, what was the fish? What was the, the brush, brush? One of the fish Pokemon from Gen 7 had that on its official art. And it led everyone to believe that that was fake as well. But that turned out to be true. So a lot of people are thinking that maybe this is from that same artist that had their hand on, you know, some of the Gen 7 stuff. You guys know me. If I think something is fake, I'm just going to call it fake. I'm not going to have the real up there and just be like, oh, why don't you decide? I'm not that type of guy. I'm the type of guy that goes, hey, these are fake. It's bullshit. You know, stop. Stop it. Stop it. They're fucking fake. But that's not the case with these. I see a lot of people in the Pokemon community right now trying to spot what's wrong with these, trying to, you know, prove that they could be a thing. And I'm on the fence because I'm looking at these and I don't know, these kind of, these images have that kind of Pokemon charm to them, if to say the least. If, if you could say anything about them. They kind of look like they would make good Pokemon designs. Hell, I can see, I can kind of envision what they would evolve into and they would make kind of badass starter Pokemon that I would love to fucking see. But are they real though? Are they real though? That's the thing that we're probably not going to know unless we see a trailer from the Pokemon company confirming this because I don't think no one from Nintendo or the Pokemon company is going to be like, hey, you know, these are real. You know, these are 100%. They should never got leaked out or whatever the case. They're not going to confirm or deny that these are real until, you know, basically the game gets revealed and these turn out to be true or fake. Now, it's been about 24 hours since these popped online and Game Explain, 
a very, 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 very popular Nintendo-centric news coverage picked up this news story and did a video on it. And in that video, which I'm going to have a link in the description below, they pointed out that on this image of the duck or whatever you want to call it, that what it looks like, the tail smacking what it looks like to be Ash. And you could see that in the corner of this art. Now, the reason why they brought that up to even be a thing is that with a lot of fakes, we don't see them integrate or put in, you know, Ash or any type of, you know, characters besides the Pokemon in question. And with this art, they took the liberty of adding that in, you know, adding Ash getting smacked by this Pokemon. Now again, it could just be a fake of somebody literally studying the, you know, the, the real leaks that we had in the past because real leaks in the past featured Ash getting, you know, hit or, you know, attacked by certain Pokemon. We've seen that with the, not the Sigilad, what's the other guy's name? What's the fire start? What, I'm, I'm losing. Incineroar. There we go. Incineroar. We've seen it with Incineroar in the past, but then we also seen a brand new female character in that artist as well. And that was the first time we've seen that female character. And that turned out to be true. With these images, we don't see any other character besides the Pokemon that are in question and besides that little image of of what could be Ash, because you, it's not a real face. It's just a, you know, a face that looks like is shocked or is get is in pain because it got smacked by uh, what it looks like to be a hard motherfucking tail. And I'm not gonna lie, like if these are real, these look like they could be good Pokemon. I'm not like, uh, I'm not a water Pokemon guy, but hey, if I was to pick. I'm, I'm picking a water type for this generation. And I, I don't, again, I don't wanna make it the discussion about that. I wanted just to make this video. This is why I wanted to make the video. I wanted to make this video to basically ask the question if you guys think this is real or if you think that they're fake. Because a lot of people online can't make up their mind about it. I'm on the fence. I'm on the fence until it's proven that it's 100% fake, then they're fake. And I, at the time, it's like, I, I, I kind of want this duck to be real, <laughs> but I could understand if it is fake. Why is it always the start of Pokemon? To me, that's the real, real question. Why is it always three images of the Pokemon that are in question, the start of Pokemon they get leaked? Why is it this just a random brand new, you know, leaf Pokemon that they're adding to the game? Why isn't this just a random brand new fire bunny that they're adding to the game? And why isn't this a brand new water duck that they're adding to the game? Why does these have to be starter Pokemon that always get leaked? Because if you think about it, if they're drawing about, you know, almost close to a hundred new monsters, the starter Pokemon, why would they get leaked first? I understand that that's the starter Pokemon. They're probably going to be the most ones that, that people are going to pay most attention to because they're going to be the ones that they pick first and stuff like that. They probably want to get them done first. Yeah, but answer that me. Answer that in the comment section below. Like, why the fuck every time there's a leak or something, it's starter Pokemon? Like, I, 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 that, that to me is 100% reason why I don't believe it. Because if it was a leak... Or, you know what I'm saying? I don't think we would see all three of the fucking starter Pokemon. I think we would just see one, if anything. Like, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below. The more I think about it, the more it, it, it feels fake to me. And then the, the more I think about it, the more I want it to be real. Because these do look like good, you know, charm. Like, they have that Pokemon charm with, about them. Like, look at this bunny. You know, again, going back to the Game Explained video, which I'm going to have linked in the description below, because they do make a good case on why these are fake. These look 100% super clean to be fucking sketches. They look, I don't know, too super clean. If you've seen the Decidueye, the, um, the Incineroar leaked images back when, you know, Gen 7 leaks were a thing, you would have known that they look like sketches. They look like they were not the finished product. They were just, you know, in rotation, trying to, you know, mock up 
what they what looked like. We seen lines, you know, everywhere. You know, it looked kind of like sketches, like what sketches would look like. This looks like they're done. Like they're like, nah, this is what the guy looks like. He it's super clean. Everything, all the lines on it is super dope. You know, edges, there's nothing wrong with it at all. You can take it or leave it. This is how he's gonna look like. And I don't know if that's something they would do. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below. That, you know, let's make this an open discussion about these. Are these real? Are these fake? Let me know what you think about them in the comment section below, guys. Because right now, I'm, I want to say that they're fake because, you know, it's another month, it's another leaks, it's another starter Pokemon. You know, tomorrow we're gonna have more starter Pokemon, you know, to go over to be like, hey, are they real or fake? And I, I, I'm at the point now where it's just like, it's a routine. Like, are they real? Are they fake? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on Instagram and Twitter. You guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American Gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube. And yes, I'm gonna be doing a ton of these Pokemon Nintendo Switch discussion videos. I promise as soon as we get word from the Pokemon company from Nintendo about, you know, Pokemon Switch stuff, Gen 8 stuff, or potentially, you know, Gen 4 remakes or whatever that's still up in the air. Until they confirm something, I promise that I will cover it here on the channel. So you guys are gonna wanna be subscribed. So hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button because it does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you wanna be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace, I'ma see you guys on the next Nintendo Switch Pokemon discussion video.